Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches. Today, I wanted to talk to you about what water resistance actually means for watches. Pretty much all watches that we buy has a water resistance rating, but none of them are actually waterproof. To be classified as waterproof, it would have to be that under no circumstances whatsoever could water get inside the watch. Hence why they make it a water resistance rather than a waterproof claim. So watches that are actually water resistant or claim to be water resistant, it actually means that they are humidity protected. And most watches that have some sort of level of water resistance claim between 30 and 200 meters. And that resistance measurement is often classified in atmospheres, one atmosphere equaling 10 meters of water pressure. So watches are generally classified into three ranges of water resistance. Obviously there's other types and other resistance ratings, but these are the general ones. There is a 30 meters or three atmospheres claimed water resistance, and that's good if you're washing your hands and you happen to splash your watch, but you really don't want to get any more water on it than that or any other more pressure. You wouldn't want to take that watch swimming and certainly not diving. Then we have our 100 meters or 10 atmospheres, and that's pretty good for jumping in and out of the pool, possibly doing a little bit of snorkeling, but you certainly don't want to add any extra pressure on it like diving with that watch. So even though it says 100 meters, that doesn't mean you're taking it down 100 meters underwater. It really isn't until you get that 200 meters or that 20 atmospheres listed that you can have any real confidence taking this watch diving or taking it into any situation where it has a significant amount of water pressure. No matter what the water resistance rating is on your watch, you should though be very careful of taking it into the shower. Now I've done a video specifically about that. If you are interested, I'm gonna put a little link down below in the comments. Check that out and see what I mean by that. So how are these watchmakers achieving this water resistance within your watch? Well, two reasons. One, gaskets. Secondly, screw down. Well, that's pretty obvious for us watch enthusiasts, but you get a good gasket in behind the crown, in behind the crystal, in behind the case back, and then get something that screws down on top of that, squeezes that gasket, it creates a watertight seal. So what do you do if you get water inside your watch or you start seeing that little mist fogging up on the crystal? Well, there's a couple of things you can do, but realistically, I'd be taking it down to your watchmaker, get them to look at it professionally, especially if it's a really good watch. If it's something you're not as worried about, well, you can always try the whole, put it in a bag of rice overnight and see what happens. All right, that's it for today. Just a really quick one. Just wanted to have a bit of a chat about water resistance. Really appreciate you watching the video. I uh, hope to see you in the next one.